Uh, you began your law enforcement career what year and where? I started in 2003, where I attended a basic academy in North Carolina. Came where, where in North Carolina? Uh, Salemburg. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salemburg, yeah. It was a police corps co program from President Clinton, actually, Correct. which put me down there. Uh, so I started in Virginia in January of 2004 where in the city of Petersburg. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So then how long were you in Petersburg? Uh, 19 years. 19 years. And you moved up to what position? I finished at the rank of captain. captain. All right. Then when did you come to South Hill? I came here that same month in January of 2023 uh, as the deputy chief. And you became? Chief this month, September of 2024. All right. So let's, okay, now let's tell Scott about the department. How big a department are we talking? Uh, this is a 23-man department. Right. How big is, so South Hill is a town? It is a town. And how big is South Hill? About 5,000 people. I was impressed coming through. It is, it's growing. It has grown. I have, even since I've been here, it's growing. Businesses are, are coming in. We have Microsoft here now. So yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a good town. All right. So what's your, and then you are, we, we would be remiss. You are a graduate of? <laughs> I'm a graduate of the FBI National Academy. That was in Quantico, Virginia. Uh, I currently serve on the board uh, for Virginia. And so does Ruxer, right? And Ruxer on the board or Billy? Yeah, uh, actually, they both are. Yeah. yeah so, um, so, so tell me about, what are your goals for the department? So since I've been here, I've been kind of working on the goals already. Um, but more training and really creating this department uh, a succession plan for the future. Not just looking now, but five, ten years, hopefully down the road, especially with the younger officers and giving them uh, goals on how they can achieve those goals. And next man up mentality. Um, and what? Next man up mentality. Um, so you want to get them better training, more education. Yes. Um, and then for me with the community is more community engagement. Um, previous chief did great with the foundation of setting it up. And I've been trying to take that to the next level with National Night Out. And then I like to go to businesses and encourage the officers to go to businesses weekly just to say hello. You know, no ulterior motive, but just want to know who each of the officers are. What kind of crime do we have here? We have a lot of property crime here. We do have some violent, um, but the majority is property crime. Larcenies is our big one. Right. So what do you do about that? What are your goals for that? Uh, information passing, being out, we're visible a little bit more, uh, walk through businesses. Um, traffic stops is one. You know, I, I learned that seeing blue lights can de potentially deter crime. Um, and you're sitting on 95. See, there's a lot of people that stop in South Hill. Yeah, 85. 85, I'm sorry, 85. It is. Yeah, but, you guys, I mean, you really do have a lot of people that stop here. Yeah, we, we have, you know, Route 1, 85, and 58 that come right through the town. So it is a, it's a, it's smack dab in the middle of Raleigh and Kelowna Heights area. And you have a vacation community. Yes. You guys have a lot of people who own second homes around Lake Gaston. So you have a lot of people coming like weekends or long weekends, summertime and stuff like that too, right? Yeah. And they come here to shop because we have the closest Walmart and other stores. Um, so the, we do get a lot from the lake. Right. So any other big items you'd like to have? Like to see done? Anything, you, you know, like a two-year plan, three-year plan? Have me as your PIO, hire Scott to do your web. I mean, other than that, I mean, are, there, are there any other goals that you got? So the one- Would you like to build the department, have more people? So we're good with the amount of people we have right now. Um, but the one thing that we are working on, and it's actually gonna be starting very soon, is we are starting to plan for the next police department, which will be at a different location, um, maybe two to three years, depending on how long it takes. But that is, that is the goal for the building itself, um, and then we'll have to grow into that. So where do you want to move the building to? So they have already acquired the building. It's actually an old bank um, right on Mecklenburg Street at Danville, and it's next to Town Hall. So we're going to be directly there. So uh, that'll be a plus. That will be a plus. So I would like to see that um, from start to finish. I so can't you wait. you need more space? Yeah, so this is just old, and, and they wanted to um, bring it more modern. Instead of rehabbing this, they thought the money uh, would be, the funds would be better over at this new building and 
they're going to gut it out and make it fit us because they've had to create a police department here where we can right. start from scratch there. You guys have been in this building for, I know, 20 years or more. When this was town hall and the fire department, the police department was here too, is what I learned. Right. So it, it, everybody shared the building um, and everybody left but the police department. Do you guys have like a SWAT team or tactical team or anything like that? Uh, we're beginning one, just kind of a rapid response team, if anything comes about, but more training for the officers and helps out morale. And we're just slowly getting it started. Right. You're just a small department. And you're trying to just keep changing things around, move stuff up, right? Yeah. With the you know evolving world in law enforcement, we have to continue to make changes that fit the community and the department. Are y'all, are y'all big on trying to get grants? Yeah. So we've had some grants here in the past, um, that the previous chief did, and I will continue that with my experiences writing some grants from the city of Petersburg. Yeah, and that money helps. It does, um, but we, we do well with the funds we do get from the town. It, they uh, particularly look for our public safety.